Our brain is a fascinating organ. Injuries or damage to the brain may lead to unexpected consequences with symptoms presenting themselves in extraordinary ways. In this video, we will take a look at a case study of a patient who, after a skiing accident, suffered some surprising outcomes. One day, a 25-year-old man who spent most of his days as a physical education student decided to go on a ski trip. During the ski trip, the man unfortunately got caught in an avalanche which resulted in him being buried under snow for 15 minutes. This led to the man suffering from hypoxia, which refers to a state in which the tissues of the body are deprived of an adequate supply of oxygen. Following the accident, the patient was taken into the hospital and he was examined by doctors. The examination revealed that the patient had developed a condition known as myoclonus, which refers to sudden, brief involuntary jerk-like movements that are caused by the contraction or interruption of muscular activity. These abrupt involuntary disruptions of the patient's muscle movements was localized to the mouth when the patient would talk and to his legs when he would try to walk. The patient was eventually released but soon started to notice some very unusual symptoms. One day, when he was trying to solve a Sudoku puzzle, he suddenly developed seizures. These seizures were localized to the patient's left arm, a body part that was completely unaffected by his previously diagnosed myoclonus. Interestingly, the seizures would appear any time the patient would start solving sudokus and they would stop immediately after the sudoku was discontinued. Confused about why this was happening, the patient decided to return to the hospital and was examined using electroencephalography or EEG. The examination revealed that the seizures the patient experienced when he was solving sudokus were associated with a seizure pattern of the right central parietal cortex. These findings were further supported using functional magnetic resonance imaging or fMRI. Doctors noticed that similar seizures were also elicited by other visual spatial tasks such as sorting random numbers in an ascending order. The seizures were however not elicited by tasks such as reading, writing, or calculating. The tasks that elicited seizures had in common that the patient would use some form of visuospatial imagination when performing them. For instance, when the patient was solving a sudoku, he would imagine the numbers in a three-dimensional manner. Doctors continued their neurological examination of the patient and ultimately concluded that the hypoxia that the patient suffered as a result of his skiing accident led to widespread neurological damage, including to the right parietal lobe. This neurological damage caused this inhibition of the right center parietal lobe, which in turn led the brain region to become hyperexcitable. It was this hyperexcitability which ultimately was the cause of these focal epileptic seizures. After thorough medical examination, the patient was once again released from the hospital. The patient decided to stop solving Sudoku puzzles and has since been seizure-free for over 5 years. We hope you enjoyed this extraordinary brain and we hope to see you in the next video.